Happy holidays to all my fellow budget travelers. In this video, I'm doing the 12 days of holiday travel. I'm gonna be giving you 12 tips that is going to make you a better traveler this Christmas. It's gonna make the holidays so much easier for you. I'm gonna be talking about solo travel. I'm gonna be talking about holiday airport tips, travel booking hacks, all kinds of things. If I went into too much detail, this video would be like an hour long. So I'm going to just give you the tips in this video. But if you wanna check out this playlist in my shorts, then that's going to give you a little more in-depth on each day of the 12 days of Christmas. As we all know, traveling during the holidays can get really expensive and a lot of times we wanna get home to see our family, but we can't necessarily afford it. So here are some tricks on how to afford it. We have Uplift and with this one is basically a loan servicer and then we have Affirm and this is also like a loan servicer. Here are some of the airlines that they're affiliated with. But basically the idea is you pay a portion of the ticket when you buy the ticket and then the rest you're gonna pay throughout either 12 months, six months, three months, whatever you feel comfortable with. They do charge a bit of a percentage, but who cares because at least you're getting home for the holidays. Another one that you could use is called skip lagged. And for this one, the idea is if there's a flight that's going from California and then landing in Denver and then going to Chicago and then going to Florida, technically the flight is from California to Florida, right? On the way you can do the California to Chicago. So that way you're not paying for the whole flight all the way to Florida. You're just paying for a portion of the flight, if that makes sense. So basically you're gonna get off at the layover and you're at your destination and you just don't take the rest of the trip. If you're just looking for a free vacation, you can do casino rewards players cards. As you all know, I love these. I have plenty of videos about it like this one. And these are just some of the cities that you could get a free stay in. Tip number two has to do with safety. If everyone has done the latest iPhone update, it now turns this on. So you wanna make sure that you turn this off because that means anyone who comes near your iPhone can get access to your information. And I understand the idea of this where if you're you know, get, meeting somebody for the first time, you wanna exchange numbers or whatever. But when you're traveling, you don't wanna get random information from random people at the airport who don't necessarily have the best intentions. You also wanna watch out for fake airport Wi-Fi. And here's a list of some other ways like getting a blocker for your wallet, turning off your Bluetooth. Basically, you wanna limit as much access as possible to your phone and two-factor identification. Even if you just turn it on while you travel, this is gonna help you a lot. Tip number three is if you get a delayed flight, you're actually entitled to a lot of things if your delay is over three hours. So I'm just gonna pop this up really quick. You can pause and read it, but there's all kinds of things that you're entitled for. So if you go to this website, it's going to tell you everything that you're entitled to. Tip number four are some of my holiday travel essentials. So I'm just gonna list it here. You can pause it and read it, but things like a collapsible water bottle is gonna save you money because you know airport water is probably like three to $5, depending on what you're buying. There's a bunch of things that you could do here to save money. Also think about comfort because it's probably gonna be cold because it is you know holiday season. It's kind of cold outside, wintry, snowing in a lot of places. So remember to bring like socks and a hoodie just so you're comfortable in case your flight gets delayed because it might get delayed at least an hour or something. So just plan for delays. You stay warm in the airport. I usually bring layers and I'll put a jacket on top because a jacket is so easy to just take off stuff in your backpack. You can also use a jacket as a pillow. This is not the time of the year to like show up to the airport in your like skimpiest dress to impress your boyfriend because you might freeze your butt off. I mean, it's up to you, but just say, think about your comfort first. For day number five of your 12 days of Christmas holiday travel tips, this one is just some general travel hacks. Your flight gets delayed, you can check into one of the lounges and just pay for a day pass. You wanna fly early in case there are delays, that way you don't get stuck flying out the next day. Maybe just have some extra underwear and socks, you know, in case your luggage gets lost. So I'll leave this list here so you can pause and read it. Tip number six for day six of Christmas holiday travel tips is going to be this fun hack that I learned. You can make your own map on Google Maps. So if you want, you can even customize it with your own icons and put them in there. There's a bunch of different ways to do it, but wherever you're traveling to, if it's like a holiday uh, where you're looking to see like Christmas decorations and Christmas bars and stuff like that, you can make your own holiday map and that way it kind of keeps track like an itinerary of where you wanna go and where it is so you get a visual of what's around you when you're different places. Tip number seven is how to entertain yourself if your flight does get delayed. You can do an art walk, you can exercise, 
There's free libraries. Some of the airports even have free libraries, but there's a number of ways to do this. There's different apps that you can download that will connect to your library card, your home library card. Just for fun, I made a free scavenger hunt guide. So if you guys want an airport scavenger hunt for the holidays, check out my link below. All I need is your email address and I'll just send it your way. At this point in the video, if you're liking my tips, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'm bringing you budget travel tips all the time. So I hope this is helping you for the holiday season and relieving some of the stress and anxiety that I know you all have. Day number eight's tip is if you are really delayed and you need to sleep, there is this website that I love. It's got a bunch of different hacks on how to sleep comfortably in an airport. So make sure you check that out but hopefully you don't need to sleep in the airport, but if you do, just know there's resources out there to help you out. Tip number nine of day nine of our holiday travel tips is if you do get stuck for a long period of time, I do suggest really getting just the day pass for the airline club because a lot of them are only $20. Maybe you're gonna pay like $50 if there's like a shower and stuff in one of them but you can get a cheaper one and that way you have unlimited food and drinks because if you think about it, if you're stuck there for five to six hours, whatever, you're gonna spend that much on money anyway, so why not eat for unlimited? For day number 10, I'm going to tell you some of my favorite Google hacks, so here they are. For day number 11, I'm talking baggage. You wanna make sure your baggage sticks out because a lot of people just have that classic black bag and trust me I've seen it happen where people are fighting over bags especially during the holiday where everybody is just stressed out and like trying to run around and they're like all oh, my Christmas presents are in there I want to make sure I get my bag make it bright make it like festive whatever you need to do even if it's a black bag put some ribbons on it put a specific like tag on it make sure you have a tag on your luggage but don't put too much information on there just put your name and your home airport and it's gonna find its way back to you. Even, you can even put your flight number on there if you want. So it gives the airport some sort of way to track you. Some people even put their personal information inside their bag, but the reality is you don't want anybody going into your bag. You'd rather just have all that information on the outside. You can even put your email address, but we don't wanna put our personal address, like our phone number. You just never know who's reading this stuff. I'll leave a little video here of how to put your bag tag on because if you're flying Spirit or Frontier, you're gonna have to put it on yourself, so here you go. And as you can see, it literally is just a big sticker and it just sticks together. So it's going to print out like this and it's gonna come out. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so this little part here is going to have an adhesive part to it. So you're gonna peel that off and then you're simply going to slide this into your handle. And it even says attach here. And this area here is where these guys are. So if you have taken a trip in the past, make sure you have none of these stickers because this is what gets scanned to go to the correct airport. So they're gonna be sitting here like this. So you just take, take this off, stick it on your bag, and then you simply attach here. So you're gonna put that right here. And on the 12th day of Christmas, TSA gave to me. TSA has clear and TSA pre-check. You might wanna consider for the holidays, like if you're flying on a popular holiday day, you might wanna get the subscription just to save yourself the hassle because Clear is its own thing. It's about like $189 a year, which is kind of expensive. TSA PreCheck is only $78 for five years. So think about that. It's not even $20 a year to have that. And if it just saves you the hassle for the holiday season, it could be worth it, but it's really up to you. I'll leave them here if you want to read some of the details. And at the end of the day, you can always do curbside check-in. You can check if your airline provides that because that's another way you can skip the line and get around all the chaos inside. If you want to see more Christmas vibes, check out this playlist here. Otherwise, this is the next video that YouTube thinks you'll like the most. I'll see you there.